Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're having some Cook Island food and this is um, compliments of our neighbour, the one that lives across the road from us. <laughs> yeah, so we um, we got the food from our neighbour, so we're going to have that for our mukbang. We just added a little bit of here and there, but yeah. And look who we got here, guys. Look. You're on the door, they're all. So, thank you so thank you the next door there for how many big shout out thank you the uh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Mm. I'll translate um, some of the things that he, he said guys okay so Tarofo a Mayoto, ya mua 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 moli le fafitai ya ya le tua i moli malosi ma le ma le hola tato moa ya fafitai le o mai eva mai fafitai ma ma oa ma shoko loa le ma shoko tani pani le fafitai ya le o mai ya ma le eva eva mai fafitai fo i le next door neighbour nga nga mai ya mai ai ya. Fafitaya le alofa mai, mama fofa mai, ya. Au ma ua, le alofa le ma mupe. Ya le ua le 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 ma laufa i koi. A ga le ma sa le ma laufa i a ga le fa long o e sa o fa le ma mupe. A le ua ma koe good friends ai tari. A mo bo la fa le ma tatalo. Okay, won't be long, guys. My drink is um, I don't know what it is. I'm just giving it. Um, Pepper taro. Taro. Yeah, with the pearls, the black pearls. Wow. And my one is a uh, mango. Yeah, it says mango popping. <laughs> it better be popping. Anyway, yeah, I love mango, guys. So I always get the mango drink. I get the taro one as well, but then I forgot that I was uh, also wants to drink. I thought he was just going to drink his own drink. Um, what drink that you were going to get out of the fridge? Yogurt. Oh, yeah, his yogurt drink. But then he said that he'll have my spare drink. Eh? Yeah, the pepper taro I love. Anyway, guys. Um, oh, yeah, on this side of the plate. See, the neighbor, when they brought over the um, the food, uh, the lady said that there's um, banana poke in there. But I had made... Um, Dalmany had asked me to make um, well, a, a poke, um, a cabin bread uh, poke. And I didn't make it because I didn't know how to make it. Just as I didn't know how to make um, the other pokes. But anyway, so it's always been on my mind. So Dalmany, I always thought about how you wanted the cabin bread, um, you know, poke. So I made it, right? And I, mm -hmm. so I made it and here it is. <laughs> and he reckons it's really, really nice. Yeah, so it is, it is nice. For, for first time, now. Mm. But, or someone, yeah. <laughs> of anybody, but uh, she was lucky that I happened to go to the island shop and, and I saw the cabin bread. I like cabin bread from time to time, so I bought some. And then when she came in the kitchen, I got a shock when she said, Oh, the cabin bread, I'm gonna make it. Of course, it turned out all right. I mean, not all right, more than all right. Sorry, it, it, it's good, it, it's really good. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know how I was going to put it mm. together, but, uh, you know, common sense, that's why God put our brain right on top so we can use it. So anyway, I thought about it. How am I going to, you know, get it going? So I did it, and then I, um, because he was roasting. What were you roasting, Daddy, Why I used your oven? I was roasting taro, and um, I made some um, some tuna with coconut cream. Because mm. I, I fried some tuna for me. I couldn't eat it all. So the leftover... I break it up and uh, put it in the roasting dish with add some onion and coconuts and coconut. 
Oh, yeah, someone had asked if he could make that. Yeah, coconut cream and uh, onions and seafood. Yeah, I put some pepper. love in it. I put <laughs> some love in it, say, because it was yeah. just only going to be bland. So I thought, mm, I better yeah. put some love in it. So I have put some love in it because yeah. sometimes my husband's cooking is a bit bland. Sometimes he flakes I, it just like me. Mm. I, I'm just a bland person anyway. I don't <laughs> like much spice. He's a spicy one. I'm, I'm not a spicy. Oh, yeah, I am spicy, yeah. but yeah. I don't like spicy spicy food. Anyway, guys, so, oh, yeah, and over here I've got, um like, I went down to Edmonton Charcoal Chicken Place. I'll tell you. Mm. So I got my chicken from here, guys. Uh, Sydney Charcoal Chicken and right here. Mm. Yeah, chicken from here. Yeah, and and that's the place I bought the chicken from, and I and they were just coming out of the you know the charcoal whatever, so it was freshly done, and then I've got the normal chicken, just a probably seasoned chicken, and also with the food that was bought last night um, came the taro, so oh yeah, so I got the garlic sauce. It came with the thing. Yeah, so banana poke. So I'm going to have me some banana pocket. Mm -hmm. mm. Almost the same texture, but the uh, hair one is more... Sweeter. No, more... Firmer. Yeah, firmer. See how to have yeah. a little bit, words. A bit, a bit <laughs> softer than that. But I like, I like firm ones. And she made it good. Really good. Yeah, but I like it medium soft. It doesn't have to be... Yeah? Yeah. I see. See guys, and I want to get me some mayonnaise. Oh yeah, so when the lady came over and she, she was mentioning that like there's goat, she came over for her children. Oh man, it was nice to meet them. Yeah, so they wanted to bring the food over. So the kids were going to their mum to bring the food over. So the mum uh, came over with them. So when she said goat meat, um, goat curry, I thought, oh, my husband likes that. So that's why he saw him, guys. I brought him on to him and enjoy this. Because he's been a naughty boy. So, what that thing? Um, here's that thing you always say, what, the pastor's nose? <laughs> that thing, hey, hey, explain the pastor's nose. <laughs> oh. Okay. Everybody knows the pastor's nose. <clears throat> it's, it's my favorite part of the chicken. It's the tail of the chicken. Mm. Here's the poke, banana poke. Yummy. Mm. Anyway, the rawfish is nice. Yeah. It's nice, yeah. Let's go, Mia. Ciao. When he said it was nice, I wanted to try it. Almost to me. Mmm, nice. Got a lot of lemon. I don't like a lot of lemon in some food, but in raw fish, I love a lot of lemon. My name. Yeah, the banana book is nice. Mm. I'm not going to have any good curry, guys, because I'm not, um, I'm not ready to have good curry yet. My daughter Sharon said, why don't you just eat it? I thought, no. <laughs> so, he likes goat curry. Ages ago, we went to this footy game out in, um, in out that way. Where, where did we go? Bankstown, yeah. Yeah, near Bankstown. And um, there were some people that had goat curry there. They were selling it. So he bought some, came home and ate it. And he really regretted it because it was so nice and he couldn't get it. The curry code at the footy game where we went. It's an island game. Um, I would have bought some more because I, I but I, I waited till I got home and I started eating it. It was so nice. Mm. Chicken, guys. Mm -hmm. The best the curry code come from Archie. Any iTunes that make curry code, 
Et ça pèse. Je dis mince. Ça a de la ratioise. Il y a un terre. Thank you pour ta caricole. No wonder who made that one. Ah, uh, no. This one? It's not that one. And then if it's an uh, archive person that made it? Well, this one. You have to remember everyone's different in how they, in how they make it. Yeah, well, this is a normal make. No more people like no me. More curry. No more Like me, how I would make it. But the audience, they just up another level. Curry the best. I haven't tasted it. Because if I tasted it, I would find out through my taste buds mm. what is the flavor. And then I'll, and I'll make it till I break it. Mm? Yeah. Sometimes you can taste food and you can understand what's put in it. You might not get it all, but you'll have a fair idea. I think uh, that you can use turmeric in the island is uh, venga. That's what they use. Beside, beside curry and ginger, and they use renga. They must, that what makes the flavor. Okay, why don't you make it then if you think you know that? I still, I still, I tried. Yeah, well, you're saying no. you think, but it might not be because you didn't fluke it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't fluke it. Nah, I'll leave that to the experts, the archie ones. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put my drink. Yeah, I got the mango drink. There's a, um, there's a bubble drink place there in Edmonton as well, guys. And it's called, um... My Modern, yeah, I think that's the store name because it's got it on the lid and it's got it on the, so it's right on the corner outside of Emerton. So here's my mango drink, yeah, cheers guys. Well, yeah, and see down the bottom, it's, um, it's the mango bubbles. <laughs> And they burst, you know. Lovely. I was gonna open up a, a be super to eat with this food, but I thought suckle chicken would do. Be super in the cooking is punpato. What? Punpato. Be super. Yeah. Puna what? How come over 30 years and I've just heard about this now? <laughs> uh, you know now? Remember the Puno Akoro? Puno? Puno? That's the can. Puatoro means the cow. Puno, but. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna start swearing. Puno Atoro. What? Like, toro, toro. Yeah, toro, toro. <laughs> <laughs> toro, toro. Guys, damn it, smells so good. Mmm, smells like that. Mm. Smells good, eh? That's, that's the thing I smell when yeah. I came in the kitchen. The donut. Whoever can see Steinhardt, thank you very much. Oh, mm. it's nice, darling. I mm. Mmm. Thank you to the hands that make mm. these. I know here in Australia, there's a lady not far from us. It's a lady called uh, Marama. Marama. Mm. Marama. And, a pretty uh, girl too. Mm -hmm. And her husband, Tangi, they make donuts and I like uh, the donuts. Yeah. I like the donuts. It's nice. He says that, that he likes them the best. And um, they are very nice. These are really good too, eh? Mm, these are good. These yeah. are good. The thing about Marama's donut is, um, like, they're not dark in colour. I'm not saying this is dark in colour. They're quite uh, light brown, but thoroughly cooked inside, and they're very spongy. And, like, two days later, they're still very nice. Mm. So, 
you know, some people got the knack for it, eh? When they got the knack for certain food, it's always their, like, their trademark. But this lady's donut, whoever made these donuts, they're very nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. And this one, got the neck with the poke. <laughs> I, I tasted the poke pumpkin. The pumpkin poke? Mm. They're good. The banana poke, now, now this. Believe me, it, it's nice. It's really nice. Mm. Mm. Dominic said that his mom used to make the, the and aunties, I guess. And, um, so, sorry, Dominique, that I didn't make the, um, the cabin bread, um, poke for you, but I tried it yesterday and it, it came out real well. <laughs> mm. Only because she didn't have the cabin bread. Lucky I came home with the cabin bread. Mm. So. You know what, guys? This is the truth of the matter. I said to him, if he ever goes, cause I know my husband loves cabin bread. And he hasn't bought it for a while. Mm. So I said to him, if he ever goes in, to the poly shops again, can you buy me uh, some cabin bread? Yeah. And uh, arrowroot. Mm. <laughs> well, they didn't even get any cabin bread for a long time. I've oh. Been, yeah. It, oh, it, that's right. You it, told me that. Yeah, I've been going there. There wasn't any. But lucky, I, I, I wanted to roast some caro to go with my... With my tuna, creamy tuna in the oven. So I happened to come across it, so I bought me two. Lucky you bought me two, mm. but they wouldn't have let me um, use. Um, my one. <laughs> one. Uh, uh, another, the, <laughs> yeah. I, I would have been having to fight them. Mm. It's just up the road. Just up the road. He's saying it like you're trying to hinder me. Just dust up the right, don't get it. <laughs> we are very fortunate over here where we are. We are surrounded with Polynesian mm. shop. Can I have a piece of chicken, please? Which one? Smallest, the smallest one. Oh, okay. Small one. Are you sure? Yes. Because it's only a wing. Yeah. Why are you asking for a small one? I just have to wonder, did you eat when I was gone? No, 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 no. I went to buy the charcoal chicken with Sharon. I want to start my diet. Uh, a little bit ones. This mayonnaise is really nice too. Oh, whoever made the mayonnaise, thank you. This is lovely. Come on, help. Mm-hmm. You know, this reminds me of the island. What? Neighbors. Oh. That's what they do. In in Turkey and in Rato too. Your neighbors will you know, bring a plate. Like if they have a lot of cooked chicken and, you know, they will bring you a plate or fish, whatever. So, yeah, it, it, it's very good to see that. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Just thanks enjoying for my coming, food. coming on. Thanks for what? For coming on. <laughs> coming home for me? No, for the invite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, since the last time I told you guys that um, I prepared the food and everything, and this one over here flaked out on me, yeah, well, so I banned him, and I said to him, he's never, ever, ever going to film with me again. And then the lady brings over, um, the goat curry. So I said to him, you better come. <laughs> so yeah, that's why he's on. So it took the lady that brought the curry over that he got to come back on my channel. Because I told you, after what he did last time, uh, he made me cry. And I thought, never again. Because Howard always says to me, if it gives you a headache, mum, don't have a mom. And then he makes it like promising, like, oh, don't worry, I'll behave. But no, he doesn't behave. So then I thought I'll ban him. So when the lady came over with the curry go, I thought, mm, okay, better bring my darling back on. <laughs> it's good to see you. Mm. 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 Mm
good to be back. I haven't made anybody laugh yet. I hope. No, you haven't. <laughs> no, you haven't. Okay? Okay. Okay. No story this week, but um, mm -hmm. next time, mm. might have a story. Yeah. And also, um, to tell those family that if you guys are watching, um, kia orana, hello, and um, I hope um, Jack is watching, Jackie and Eric. I just want to say hello. It's been a while. Sorry, sis, if... Um, the bro here's not ringing. Sometimes, you know, man. Oh. But I've been saying to him to ring and, you know, say hello. And he he does. He says, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll get around to it. Yeah, I will. And then it never happens. But anyway, if you're watching, sis, I want to say hello to you guys. I miss you guys. <laughs> we didn't end up going to the Cook Island. I'm slowly hearing that people are starting to be allowed over the age. Mm. Lucky! Hi sis. I love you. You know that. And I missed you. We already booked our flight. It's been, what, over a year, a year and a half now? Yeah. Because of the COVID, we couldn't come across. So, we, yeah, we put our seats in, in credit. So, anytime mm. in the when the COVID is lifted, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll we're on our way. way. Yeah, so I, I'm just hoping and praying that you and Yeda are in best of health. Yeah. Um, and, and to everyone else yeah. that's watching. And the kids too. Everybody's good with June, Osi and them, and the kids, mm. William and Jacqueline, everybody. Yeah. All and all the viewers. Yeah. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. Why would you leave? Hmm? The Chi Chi train stopped. Yeah. <laughs> because I had your pocket last night. That you know, was last you know, you know, when I, when, I went, when I went to bed, I went in the kitchen, mm. and the bowl was still there, so I ate. It's so nice. I mean, you, you can eat it just like that. You don't have to have anything with it. Maybe a cup of Milo. But so you came last night, what, when you were sleeping? No. I was were we sleeping? When, when I went to bed, you, you two were lying over here watching TV. Oh. Remember, I went to bed first. Oh, I don't know because I'm, I'm trying to find who's the the person that went and opened up the fridge. Must have been early hours this morning and left it open. Rude. No comment. I How could this one? It could be because he leaves everything open. Leaves the cupboard open, leaves the sugar open, leaves the coffee open, and leaves his big mouth open. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm not going to put that in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> because it's not true. Because <laughs> I do leave a lot of things because my mind is... Once, once I do something, my mind moves to the next thing what I'm going to do. When I, once I start that thing, my mind moves to the next one what I'm going to do. I'm always constantly thinking. No, because... So when people ask me, how come you're quiet? Duh, because I'm thinking. I'm duh, you're duh. Anyway, don't listen to him. Um, he shouldn't say duh. Anyway... Um, yeah, and no excuse to say, guys, because, <clears throat> put it this way, if you know how to open up a bread, you should know how to close the bread. If you know how to open up the sugar lid, you should know how to, no excuse. True, true. It, I mean, it's just a matter of picking it up again and putting it back on. Yeah. It's just a matter of tying it up. No excuse whatsoever. Nope. No. Now look at it say, nope. But after this, when you're going to open up the fridge or something, next minute, open. Mm -hmm. This guy. Yeah. So. I think he wants a fussy or something. Raw, raw fish is nice. The dog meat. It's really nice. Yeah. Mm. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. It's, it's so much. Oh, too. my favorite here today was the poke, the donut, 
The mayonnaise. Yep. Yum. I agree with that. Yeah. The donuts is nice and the mayonnaise. Don't touch my donut bottom. with your finger. Mm -mm. Yeah. You want a half dotting? It's up to you. Oh, you said no before. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. You know those little kid stuff? Wait, which is the big one? And then you, the big <laughs> one, you bite it down and you measure it again? <laughs> no. Hopefully, sooner that yeah. every, everybody will get shot just to protect. 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 Protect, protect not protect. Yeah, protect. <laughs> For protection. <laughs> <laughs> I just, but I learned this um I learned this thing this other day. Um guys, I I was watching this thing on TikTok and um it was a, like a eye opener, right? Because okay, listen to this. This man said, you know, uh relationships break up, right? Because when mothers have kids, right, they, um, right, their priority is the kids, 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 all the time. And then sometimes the husband doesn't get that attention. So, um, but what, what his version was, I mean, no way. A mother is a mother. This is why God, sorry, God for using the name. This is why I think God, um, give us the female, the female, the part to have the babies, because we are more like, the protectors and all that. So are the fathers. Oh, you'll find some fathers are so, so protective, you know, priority and all that. Anyway, like I was saying, oh, we had a, we had a little ma, ma function, like my daughter, Sharon, say, uh, her and dad's right, they have a little ma function when they're doing their mukbangs. <laughs> they always catch me up. But, yeah, we just had a little one because I'm trying to tell my story, guys. I was in the moment. And this guy sniffing his snot, um, doing all this. There's not even a snot. It's just empty air. But he's sitting... Anyway. See, Kuya? Can you see your wife is trying to tell a story? Uh, mm? Anyway, guys. Get back to the serious stuff. Just um, this guy over here. So, um, so what, what happened? Oh, yeah. So the man said, see, well, what our jobs are, <laughs> he's right. But as a mother, I'm thinking, mm, our kids are our kids, you know. But anyway, so he said, a father's job is to provide for the family. The mother's job is to nurture and take care of the kids. Um, but our job as parents, we have to prepare the kids for the world. For the world. So when they open up the door and leave, you still have your husband. So you mustn't forget your husband as you're raising your children and make it all, you know, like, try and make it a bit of, about the husband as well as the children. Because at the end of the day, when the kids are gone, most of them, they don't take the parents with them. Hmm. They only go by themselves, and you're left with what you're left with. A headache. <laughs> a headache. <laughs> the headache that's always been there. Anyway, guys, so, um, yeah. So that guy made a lot of sense, you know. He made a lot of sense, but you know, and most of the mothers, they're probably going, "Ah, oh, it's true. Our kids are our lives, you know." But it's true. Prepare the children for the world, so they can be all right. So they know all the A, B, and C, all the way to Z. You're not always going to get it right. You're not always going to get it perfect. And um, but the thing is. To do it together with the husband and appreciate your husband along the way. This is what I was watching this man. It was so touching to listen to because at the end of the day, when your children are gone, you're left with your your headache right here. You know, <laughs> you're left with your with your partner. So you mustn't forget your partner along the way. As you know, like raise your children together and appreciate your partner as you go along. It makes sense because hello this is why some this is why i've heard it i've even seen it on movies how um when they get a bit older the couples will get a bit older and then the wife will say once the kids leave i'm divorcing you you know because they forgot to keep their relationship alive as they were rearing their kids and this guy made a lot of sense because this is why we're focused too much on our kids and and the husband is getting, um, you know, like, where's my wife that I used to have? Because some men, they are selfish and 
you know, and a bit immature? Some. Not a lot, but some. So they'll feel like offended or a bit left out or jealous or should never be like that ever, you know, because you, if you're the father, you should have an understanding why the mum is your wife or your partner is taking care of the kids because they need the help, you know, when they're growing up. But then, yeah, that made, that, that made so much sense. And this is the first time I've ever heard someone say something like that. And um, it, it made a lot of sense. So now I have to try and... Um, um, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but all, all good teachings are found in the Bible, without a doubt. Yeah. Because what people are doing now... God has already put it in place. What, whatever you think about, it's already God made it. You know, we always got to show, show our appreciation to God um, for everything that he gives for us because it is a blessing. Some some people may not believe in God. Um, it's it's just a way, you know, if if we know that how, if we really look at the Bible, how... Um, how everything that is in the Bible is like it's coming true, guys. It's what's currently happening, ha happening. <laughs> what what what's currently happening, guys? It's in the Bible about the injection and everything like that, and how one day they'll do away with money. We just got to use a chip to and how and how I, I said to you, how I said to you guys, no matter what, no matter if we don't want that injection or whatever. It's going to be compulsory. Then we all got to have to have it. Because if you're not going to have it, you're not going to work. If you're not going to have it, you're not going to fly. You're not going to have it, you can't do shopping. So it's in the Bible, guys. So that's why um, I'm saying, you know, for those who don't know the Bible, you know, everything's coming to how it is. And We're not yeah. saying this, that we know the Bible? No. We don't know. I always said yesterday yeah. or the day before, but anyway, it's time for us to say goodbye. Thank you for joining us. I hope everything is well in your family homes and at work and everything. So take care of our families that's in our lives. Um, our distant family, well, they're doing their bit in their lives. So, and when you have the chance to get together, like a family reunion or a wedding, that's when you'll see them here and there. But your current family that you're living with and that, yeah, do the best to take care of them. Duh. It's not like before, <laughs> you know, when you're young, you can do Bounce almost, around. yeah. But now it's, uh, you know, but I take everything in the strides with a bit of, bit of here and there. And so, yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, <laughs> you thank yourself for coming back. I get more invites, <laughs> no. like I said. Anyway, to everybody, thank you for stopping by and watching thank us. Thank you, guys. I hope that you, your family, all your loved ones are in good health. And, uh, yeah, thank God we are, you know, we can share this yeah. with you guys. Yeah. So thank you and ka kite. And don't forget, follow me on Instagram and my TikTok. I know you guys probably watch my TikTok. Like, oh, wow. And she'll leave my phone number down the bottom. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so. Okay. No bye bye. To, no one's to ring you. Okay, <laughs> bye guys. Take care. Kakite. Kia manuya. Yeah. Fatso for. Kuna